Hello and welcome back to another video, another manufacturer series. And this is round seven, which is uh, which has been actually, which was an amazing race, I might say, because you know it doesn't it does take a lot to win a 20 lap race, and uh, this for sure was a lot because it was a it was a familiar track. I've been here before. The last time I was here on manufacturer series, it didn't go as planned, and uh, yeah. I still uploaded that video. I don't know. I still just uploaded the video. Just you know, just felt like it did. It didn't really even go do well. But anyway, here we go. We're just racing on racing hard tires, and uh, I'm just gonna show you kind of uh, if I if I did this like I was just trying out. Like I did. I did see the best lap was a 155, 155, 150. Sorry, 150 around there probably a low 155 like three seconds i did a qualif i did uh, like uh how can i put it like a practice lap like a practice qualifying lap while waiting for the entry period to you know begin to end i might say and uh, the first corner so you see there that's how you should you should take it just take advantage of the the curves not too much but just the right amount and here just break just at that drama right there if it's if it just, it just after the again uh, here take advantage of the curves switch up to that that gear so that you can have the best uh, exit speed go down into third gear uh, just throttle it until you get onto the straight up to fourth gear go down a gear so that you can have the best uh, exit turn actually turning radius on that corner right there i think that's the second parabolic I am not sure or they're called something else but anyway we're just going to continue I'm also, so, so far so good I'm up 2.1 seconds just break up the tarmac right there turn in at the 50 so that you can have a smooth uh, go up into fourth gear so that you can have a smooth uh, way through that I think that's those I think those, those are the parabolicals I think so I'm not really sure I'm not really sure about the track names but anyway I'm going to I keep saying I'm gonna educate myself from most of the track race, but I keep forgetting them. I don't know why. I just remember the the routes, the driving position as you see there. I went a little bit too wide on the head, on the entry speed on that on that uh, very tight corner right there. Move, move on to the right side so that you can have the best uh, track position. And I did the 157.6. As you're gonna see here because I did go and try and see what was the best like for me I did a 157.68 and the best was a 155.3 so give or take two seconds give or, give or take uh, take two seconds I, you know it was really quick so if I would have just replicated that into the game like into the qualifying the game I would have probably made P1 because also the lobby itself as you see here not a lot of people were, have done their races like you see, probably somebody has done the first race today or something like that, or the second race. But so far, it, it was kind of like a poor lobby, I might say. Not the best, because the uh, top, top mark was 70, and it get a 65 or 68. I'm not really sure, because, you know, the daily races that uh, you just saw before the Nations Cup, I did a lot of uh, I did a lot of those and I, there was a lot of spin rounds and was it the best? So with qualifying, for me I don't like qualifying with a lot of people around me and I accidentally pressed the throttle button and I just had to let everybody pass through because I did, I did want to. Oh, okay, that I didn't know how it just appeared out of nowhere because it wasn't there. And continuing now, we're gonna start off. I didn't mess up that corner right there because I was pushing the car a little bit more than usual. And uh, at the end of the of this lap right here, the, this corner is really tricky on good focus. Like you need really need to coast a lot because the car takes a while. Like I don't know, the Lexus probably other cars did turn quickly, but for the Lexus, I noticed that uh, it takes a, a, a like a, a second or two so that it captures the grip on there. So. I just had to like, I you know, adapt and how can I put it? Adapt and match so that we can have a good race. 
take use of the corners up into second gear so that we can have maximum traction onto this. I'm trying to remember the name, I'm forgetting it. Oh, okay. Let me try to remember, but it is the first right handle. And uh, this is where also like a lot of moves can be made, and uh, which is not really that bad. Right just before the time up right or like under the country right there or that sign you can cheat up the third gear so that you can have the best traction off and going down break after the 50 boat so that you can a little bit of coast in here a little bit of throttle so you can have the best uh, speed on to the second corner right here radio no not radio um, it, it is an R that those track those that areas has R's in it I can't remember what he as a, but anyway, in front of us is a Belgian who was in a well, was quick, but I don't know what he was doing here. The guy is ghosted. We don't need to. I don't know why. I don't know what he was doing. He, he just go through him. He's ghosted. You know, he, he won't get a penalty or anything like that. So he did lose me a lot of uh, like a second. I mean, say because even though I did gaining on the on the slip stream right here, I did gain it back like let's say two or three. Hands of a second, move on to the right side, break at the handle, break a lot, go down into third gear, and uh, they say like a little bit of coasting and then a little bit of uh, throttle and uh, go up a gear so that you can have maximum traction. Move on to the right side so that you can have the best, the shortest track limit, and that made us a P1. But then I was so afraid because turn one in this in this in this track is so so dangerous turn one is everything and you see they just said afraid of turn one everybody's just saying let's have a clean race let's have a green race because probably no please respect fair play and then um ben right here he, he just going to say he's just going to confirm everything and uh let's say good afternoon let's have a good race hello please respect just before we start the race he says i approve because he knows he's had experience in this. Turn one is just it's just jokes. He just chopped sometimes. I might say I'm I might use that uh, <coughs> was on uh, reference if you know if you know if you know if you know what it is. But anyway, it is going to be a long race. A lot of fuel saving, no need for a pit stop because it's hard tires so they will last for the longest time. I just had to put it on six lane six so that I can see how much fuel I need to use and I just had to, I just use second second fuel mix. I'm going to over rev it just a little bit just beyond the gear indicator so that we can have maximum speed and I miss my breaking point which is not the best way to start a race and this is actually a long one so as I get passed by the Viper or oh not the Viper the Dodge uh, Corvette, the C7. Just uh, get a drink, get a pop, get some popcorn, so get uh, something to eat. So cause this is going to be a really long, one, a really long, long race because it's 20 laps, and each race, each lap is uh, let's say give or take two minutes, give or take a few seconds. You see there, he also misses his his breaking point, and I get a push from behind and uh, I get a 0.5 second penalty also the guy behind me gets a 0.5 second penalty because you know we abused the track limits there just the lane just pixels even though it was still so slower they still they still didn't agree with that the stewards and which is going to be a little bit funny because a lot of people are going to um, abuse the track like a lot and they're not going to get uh, penalties I don't know what guy what guy what sort of uh, drinks they were having just beyond the fence right just beyond the barriers right there and I'm going to try try not defend this too much because you know we need to pull away from the guards behind us and that Carlos Aculias is going to have a really good race but for me actually I am really good also going to have a good race and moving it forward to the beginning of lap 2 turn 1 I'm going to go in and get a little bit punted by the check guy behind me and he I think that was like supposed to be a warning for me but I didn't recognize it then because you know it was maybe a mistake I did uh, break a little bit too much on that corner and uh, he didn't go into the back of me but then he comes back as you see here he's going to try go on the inside I'm not going to defend it he 
he doesn't back out. I just let him go. I we lose a little bit of time there. He almost loses it. But as uh, see, that's why I'm saying like you need to put or oh, you need to go up to third gear so that you can have uh, the best structure. He goes a little bit slow here. Try and to try and a little bit flash him to just tell you, come on, let's go. We you already passed me. You you already dominate. You already in. in how can I put it like you already? Say kind of say that you're faster than me, but the Azamati is also actually really, really quick on straight line. He's just pulling away from me. Also, I'm also quicker, but he's having the he's having the help of the slipstream and Milky right here behind me. Who oh, is a little bit laggy, I don't know why, a little bit skinny there, a little bit out of shape. But I think the tires are not really that warm, also. Like after two, two laps, that's when you're gonna have a, like a lot of uh, oh, he has a second penalty, Milky. Uses a lot of the truck a lot there. He's gonna get a second penalty. And uh, the Greek guy, I think, in P1, he's uh, also got a penalty because of missing that. He can that missing that white line right there. Just that one second, uh, that one pixel can ruin a race for you. But anyway, it's just the beginning of the race. We still have 18 more laps to go. Try to catch a slipstream of him. He's try the Greek guy Akali tries to knock me off, but again. The lessons is quick on this track. It is, a, it, it, it is good on the top end. Then. Going right a little bit defensive here. I'm gonna try and take the position. A little bit of a break, but the check I had was having none of it. I had to try and save it as fast as I can so that I don't I don't lose a lot of uh, positions. And so far, it's not really going well for me. That spin right there is gonna give him a penalty. I believe. So I think he got a penalty for that, for that uh, forcing another car out of track. But anyway, so far, like since the update, they haven't, they haven't been any like contact penalties or something like that. Probably they, they were just thrown penalties were just thrown out the window. And the only thing remaining is because um, even now we don't even get like SR up or SR down like, notifications on top of the of the time right there, like before. So probably it's. It's a glitch in the game, they need to fix it soon, probably. I don't know, they should because contact like contact like that will have given him like what a two-second penalty for another car off the track. And uh which would have been which would have worked great for me. And uh we, you know we continue with the race. I'm trying to get on the slipstream of Milky, but I need to we need to catch up with the guys So I'm gonna just punt him, just a fetching punt, just to show him that uh, I'm not really willing to race that hard, but anyway. That flies out the window as soon as we enter the first chicane. Oh, he's a little bit too laggy. Oh, the manual is a ghost there a little bit. He braked a little bit too hard, probably because they were fighting with uh, the other Spaniard in front of him, which would have would have gone way worse if they didn't uh, like back. He didn't if he didn't like back out or something like that. But anyway, going down right here, I'm gonna try and. He breaks a little bit too early. I didn't mean to go into the back of him. And uh, as you see there, the Spaniard abuses the track limits. He doesn't get a penalty for that. As I said, I don't know. It just sometimes uh, the stewards are not really kind of fair on it. He hit the barrier there a little bit. Because, like, he was really off the tr off the inside the car right there. And he didn't get anything. But anyway, you know, sometimes they're not looking. Sometimes they, they are. And at the end of lap four, Milky right there decides to go. He outbreaks himself, I mean, say, and goes a little bit wide. I go in narrow and get the position you see there. The track width is really important right here because if you use if you use the outside, you 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 take a lot of uh, of space or something like that, like a lot of time to go around. And moving on to lap five, actually, to the end of lap, in the beginning of lap lap uh, lap five. I did abuse uh, the trucks there to track, track limit a little bit, you know, track limits, and I do catch up with this car right here. He goes defensive for no reason, I don't know, he's just slowing everyone down, like, not what you know, like, actually me. I should have gotten, like, a good exit speed there, and uh, the 0.5 second penalty would not really have mattered that much. And beginning of lap six, I do catch up with him again, and see there, he's really struggling with his tires, I don't know why, maybe he's, uh, he's using his uh, scraping them a lot is sliding a lot through the corners because you see like for me like my tires are not really that much um, worn out just a little bit he 
it doesn't not really that much make a difference. And again, I might tell you, you break at the right time, he decides to go through there. He doesn't get reset. Like, uh, like, come on, come on, stewards. He really just literally like cuts the track right, right, like right there. He, he, he I don't know. He, his racing was really weird for me because he was losing a lot of time for me. Like he's even though he has a smiley face there and uh, like love has behind his bumper, probably he likes getting in from behind. So right, right, right. I should not have seen that. But anyway, the check guy goes in. I go in for the for the like the breaking on the right place and uh, he goes a little bit too wide and he tries to come back for the slipstream but you know it doesn't really work out for him but then he does really get like the, the right amount of uh, slipstream behind me because you see there he's just ten, uh, one tenth tenth of a second behind me and he's going to get the full sack of it and by the end, by the breaking point, I'm gonna break at the right at the right point. He's gonna try and go in. I don't know why I did let him go in. I should have gone defensive. You can see there. He does struggle at the edge. He tries to block me off, but I'm just going to push him wide because you know he's he's, he's slowing me down. I, I need to catch up the guys for me to get back to my P1 position. And here is another part I might say. He just come back and deliberately punts me off for the see there. He deliberately punts me off. I try and do his technique and I get reset. How is that how is that really fair, I might say. It's not really fair now, is it? But anyway, we are not even halfway and we are losing a lot of time to the guy in P1. Like he he's having a good race, he's having a peaceful race, just trying to conserve his tires, which is going to be a little bit tricky because of that Audi is really quick on the acceleration. And I think here he tried to to get out, he, he tried to punch Milky and Manuel off the road for some reason, I don't know where. And the other check guy comes back. I don't know if he's also a punter, like the guy in front of there, like the other hoofed uh, Al Capop, I might say. But anyway, we don't know what what the guy is on, or maybe he's just chilling, maybe he's just trying to have a bad race. I don't know. But anyway, I do turn off the turn on full throttle right now because you see, uh, as in, we are already side by side with the BMW. He's getting a slipstream from the McLaren right here trying to block me off but I say no way I'm gonna try and go inside which is gonna help me go up to fourth place just trying to hunt down both Al Capone again the track race between me and Manuel the the guy in the McLaren he does have kind of have the slipstream but I don't have it but we're gonna try and go three up west right here to the first corner which is not the best idea trying to cover him off the British guy Milky tries to go away. We just almost come into a standstill, and we lose a lot again, a lot of positions. Just a lot of fighting for no fucking reason. But anyway, going down again, just taking back, just taking a step back, looking at the picture, and see what to do because uh, Al Capo ruined my. F Actually, I would have probably be fighting with Al, Al, Al Kaleos, probably, probably not. I'll go down here in the breaking zone. They're all stacked up on the left side. I'm gonna go on to the outside and go on for the whole switcher room. I don't get a penalty for that because yeah, I definitely did cut that. I didn't want to get reset or anything like that. And you see here, they're just pushing each other into Mr. Barrier. I'm gonna push off away the 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 Pojo. I'm gonna say Pijo, Pojo, like you know how you say it. This way I'm gonna kinda of, kinda of lose a little bit of time also. Because I get a point five second penalty. And so I just I just saw somebody with a penalty up there for me. I think that's if that's not hoofed has a second penalty or point five second penalty because of cutting that, I'm not really sure. But anyway, going down the breaking zone, trying not to catch on to the guys in front of me. They are in a slip they in a good line, good line of slip switch, which is gonna give me a lot of uh, boost I might say. And uh, P1 is now just getting away. Look, he's now second with 16, uh, let's say 17 seconds away from us, which is a really long time, which is a really long 
position as the, of the machine is going to the back of Milky right there. He's kind of lagging a little bit probably because by the time he's breaking, his brake lights is not on, so you're not really sure. See, it's just stuttering left and right, which is kind of tricky, and it's hard to to anticipate at the point where he is. And some guys, as long as they did that kind of fuel saving, is kind of helping me a little bit. Also, the solution is kind of helping me a little bit. You see. I didn't even know he started breaking because he braked a little bit too early for me to to realize it and I'm just going to, he tries to push me off, I don't know for some reason, I don't know why, he's the one who's laggy and uh, he doesn't have a good sense of uh, track placement, he gets shoved wide also with the Polish, that's a Polish flag right, I think so, I think, uh, but the Belgian passes it, but anyway, now my attention is straight on to the guys in front of me, the McLaren, the Spaniard and the, and the Czech guy in the Aston Martin, which he goes I don't know, later on, I think after this lap, because I try and, and uh, hunt down the Spaniard Manuel, or Manuel, I think he, Manuel, I think that's his name. I overshoot this corner right here, I lose a little bit of traction, go into the grass, which is not ideal. And the Polish guy comes through, I'm going to try and stick up onto the slipstream of him and uh, going down into the street to the first corner. Now everything is reset, uh, Al Akalius is now 20 seconds away from me, which is not the best, the best way to, because I need to get back into that podium, even if, even if it's not uh, pole position, but I need to get back to that podium because I, I worked so hard during the qualifying lap to make a good qualifying lap just to be just ready to be ruined by one of the Czech drivers the hoofed uh, Al Pop I think even I, I'm not even sure I'm saying the, the second near the, the second name right uh, the Polish guy tries to go for that again he gets reset like way behind which is not really the best way but anyway I didn't get a penalty for that I did serve it but two laps later, I did catch up with uh, Manuel right here, which, uh, as you see there, going up into that gives you a lot of uh, a, lo a lot of momentum into this corner right here. And he lets me through, which is I, I applaud him for that. And uh, hoofed Gabo right here, I think he has uh, a big, big penalty. Uh, oh, one point five second penalty. He's been abusing a lot of cards right here, so which is going to give me a, a lot of ch a big chance to get my third position back. And going down, I don't know if he's going to defend it because he is in the middle of the road. I'm just going on to the right side. Pass him, tries to defend it. Last minute, he doesn't realize the water. I didn't get there in time. Break on the right time, go in for the corner, and that's done and dusted. I just pull, just start pulling away from him. And you see there, he just pulling away from him. It, there's nothing he can do about it. And actually, that's great because I didn't get a, I didn't, I didn't get a sense of like how can I put it, like a sense to drive really really hunt down like my my how can I put it my objective was not to catch down to P1 and P2 and as you see I saved 10 seconds 5 seconds 5 laps later I, I did catch up to P2 right here who was in an Audi TT I think he's starting to fuel save a little bit and also his tires I think are really really gone as you see I'm just trying to get up to the slab stream I get him past again, that's done fantastic. Now, got four laps left to go, lap 17, 18, 19, and 20. Probably I might get to Alcal, uh, the Greek guy, the Greek driver. And as I say, like, the Spaniard has no like, traction off the, of the, of the corner there. Four laps later, nothing really much happened. Like, I did mess up a lot of the corners he did have a penalty i think he just seen that he did have a penalty i might get advantage of that but no i ruin it with going into the barrier into the grasslands not really grassland but the gravel land right there but so far so good it's been a good race going all the way down to eighth all the way up to second which is really really how can i put it was a, was a real challenge for me. The tires were tire management was great. I did put it at negative two because I did I did want to conserve the front tires a lot and 
did work out great for me as a city at home. I'm still gaining on, on him. If if not about the the spin rounds, the spin the spins, the the, the penalties, all of like the fast spin was everything that uh, caused this race to go into shambles. But anyway, picked everything up and uh, made a good race out of it. Already finishing second, which is actually I think the highest position I've finished in the manufacturer series. I think so. If I'm not really wrong, or oh, first position, I'm not, I can't even remember. But anyway, it was a really good race, and uh, hope you did enjoy it. See you in the next one. Peace.